Have you ever wondered where all the leftovers go when an organism dies? Thanks to decomposers, much of the remaining biomass gets broken down back into the food web. But it seems like a big job for such small microorganisms, fungi, and invertebrates to handle. Is there a sort of middleman to lend a hand? Let's find out together in this episode all about scavengers. Scavengers are the animal kingdom's waste removal experts. They are defined as animals that mostly consume dead and decaying biomass, such as meat or rotting plant material. This means that scavenger animals can be carnivores, herbivores, and omnivores. In most cases, scavengers don't hunt and kill their own prey even if they have the ability to do so. There are many animals that are considered scavengers, and they are found all over the world in almost every ecosystem. Scavengers play a critical role in the flow of energy through an ecosystem. All living things need energy to survive. We use food chains or food webs to see how energy flows between living things in an ecosystem. Scavengers also need energy to live. So they play a part in every food chain or food web, but where do they belong? Plants like this peach tree are producers, making their own food from the sun's energy and chemicals from their environment. The tree stores some of that energy in its fruit. Once a peach ripens, it gets partially eaten by a lucky squirrel. Some of that energy from the peach is then transferred to the squirrel. That squirrel is then not so lucky and becomes prey for a bobcat. The energy from the squirrel is transferred to the bobcat. So where do the scavengers fit? They can show up anywhere along the food chain where there are leftovers and waste to break down. Like however much of the peach the squirrel didn't eat or any part of the squirrel that wasn't consumed by the bobcat. Decomposers can break those things down into smaller parts, but the scavengers make sure biomass doesn't go to waste. They keep an ecosystem free of the remains of dead animals or carrion, which is really nice because that's pretty gross. Many animals will scavenge if they have the chance, even though carrion isn't their preferred food source. But why do animals choose to or resort to scavenging? It all comes down to energy. In any instance of gathering a meal, an organism has to weigh the amount of energy they will have to spend in order to gain those calories. It wouldn't make sense to use as much energy hunting prey as that meal itself would provide which is why scavenging can be so appealing. Because most scavengers are flexible about what they eat, they have an easier time finding food than the competition. This can make scavengers better at adapting to new environments than other organisms. There are two types of scavengers, obligate and facultative. Obligate scavengers have a diet that relies almost entirely on carrion. This type of scavenger is the rarest because most animals need more than leftovers to survive. We would consider most scavenging animals to be facultative scavengers. They gain most of their food through other methods like predation. You can think of this type as opportunistic feeders. Like, do you really want to eat the meatloaf that your mom made? three nights ago? Not really, but if you don't have any other option, it's dinner. Regardless of their type, scavenger animals can be found all over the world. So let's take a look at my top 10 scavenging animals. First up, the vulture buddies, the iconic scavengers. They are obligate scavengers consuming almost entirely carrion. These birds have an incredible sense of sight to help them locate their next meal. Vultures are nature's most efficient cleanup crew, leaving only the bones behind. And even then, some species of vultures will even eat the bones. Bearded vultures survive almost entirely by eating bones. They soar to great heights, then drop the bones, breaking them into smaller pieces. Dead things are pretty gross, and usually after even a short amount of time are definitely not safe to eat. So how do our vulture buddies snack on meat that has definitely turned, or worse, is infected with whatever disease that killed the animal they're eating in the first place. Vultures are adapted to assault microbes with stomach acid that's 10 times more acidic 
than our own, which obliterates most microbes and dangerous pathogens. Ravens have a diverse diet that is not limited to carrion. They hunt small animals like rats, lizards, snakes, and even insects for food. However, they're not picky and are definitely drawn to dead meat. These birds are considered to be among the smartest animals in the world and use some surprising scavenging strategies. These birds will follow predators, such as wolves, waiting to cash in on a successful hunt. If you're still here liking this video, let us know. And hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Like our vulture buddies on land, crabs are the waste management team of the ocean. Most crabs are bottom feeders. They live among the underwater grasses on the ocean floor, a perfect place to hide from predators. The ocean floor is also the perfect place to find settled food scraps, just like your dog waiting under the dinner table. A crab's diet basically consists of anything it can find. This includes dead fish, clams, remains of plants, and even pieces and parts of other crabs, like in ocean floor trail mix. Although sharks are mostly apex predators hunting fish, seals, and other marine animals, they don't always have to eat live prey. Sharks are scavenger animals too. The tiger shark especially is an opportunistic predator and scavenger, consuming carrion, marine animals, and even some seabirds. This species of shark is lovingly known as the garbage can of the sea because of the strange objects that they ingest. Tiger sharks have been found with human trash, including a wide array of plastic items, metal objects like license plates, and even tires in their stomachs. Now that takes scavenging to a new level. Foxes are opportunistic animals with incredibly diverse diets. They are skilled canine hunters that consume small animals like rabbits, birds, and frogs, while also feeding on fruits like berries. Foxes use their active sense of smell to locate carrion. Raccoons are not picky eaters. They will happily rummage through your trash in urban environments, but historically, raccoons are forest-dwelling creatures. Raccoons are true equal opportunity scavengers. They eat carrion as well as raid bird and snake nests. If it's food of any kind, they're eating it. While most bears are omnivores, feeding on both plant and animal matter, they will really eat anything that they stumble upon. Although they're clearly capable of hunting, bears prefer to use their size to intimidate and steal food from other animals. Kind of like the bully of the forest. Their adapted digestive tract is elongated and capable of breaking down carrion effectively. Opossums are beneficial scavengers that help keep our environments clean by consuming organic waste and carrion. These nocturnal animals are unique in their immunity to certain toxins, which allows them to consume harmful ticks and even venomous snakes. Millipedes are arthropods, known for their long, thin bodies with tons of tiny legs. Like other arthropods, millipedes shed their outer covering as they grow. Once this happens, they don't let that old skin go to waste. They turn around and eat it. Well, that's a new one. Millipedes prefer areas with moisture, like under mulch or dead leaves, or rotting logs. They are detritivores, feeding on decomposing leaves, rotting plant material, and decaying wood particles. The last scavenger on the list is also an invertebrate, the carrion beetle, or American burying beetle. Using smell organs located on their antennae, these creatures are attracted to hydrogen sulfide, which is released into the air as dead animals decompose. Once carrion is located, a mating pair works together to remove soil from underneath the carcass and bury it completely. Then the female lays eggs. Once the larvae emerge, they begin feeding and can completely consume a carcass in less than a week, which is impressive and gross. So the next time you see a scavenger at work, Take a moment to appreciate a creature whose love for leftovers makes our environment a little cleaner, one bite at a time. And if you want to learn more science, you can check out this video next.